Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we're playing Manor Lords. Um, and as you can see, the game is still in development. It's out on the... The 26th or the 28th of April, I can't remember, but it's out in ages time. Like, go go wishlist it, you've probably done that already. This is a very, very wishlisted game. Um, and I've wanted to play it for ages. I don't know if we'll be able to do like a, a full playthrough of this, or we'll just sort of play around for a bit. Um, with it, one or the other, I don't know, because there is a lot of other stuff coming up uh, on the channel soon, because, you know, I cover Total War and there's Total War DLC coming. It's, I know, terrible timing, because this is definitely a game I've wanted to play. So, um, I'm going in slightly blind. Um, I do enjoy the um, apiary flag. That's an interesting thing to put on a flag. You know, just knights, knight, knights of the bee. Kind of sounds hilarious, actually. I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of into it. But no, we're going. Ooh, wow. Okay, that's, that's too much. I don't want all these. This is, this is too many things. All right, this is too many things. Okay, that's a pattern, is it? Yeah, it must be. That's kind of cool. Yeah, kind of like the, uh, the fleur de lis, but like half hidden. That's kind of cool. I mean, I could give it a color, so it's. The secondary colour we want to change? Yes. Let's make this gold. Let's make that gold. That's kind of fun. Although I would like that to be up front, you know? Oh wow, I can change how much is tiled. Man, this is awesome. <laughs> Sorry, I hadn't I hadn't really bothered to look into all this that much yet. Um this is gonna be quite a chill stream, by the way. Uh well, video series. Um we're gonna be pretty chill with it. Because, yeah, it's a city builder. So it's a city builder, it's a medieval city builder. There is, um, do we want another one down here? That seems like a waste. A sword? Yeah, it's a medieval city builder. And uh, uh, there's combat and things in it. Let's just go plain. I like that. We're gonna be called Erhart, that's fine. Uh, this guy looks just like me. You know, I think this is a man in his 40s, but um, I've aged like milk, so this is basically me. Right, let's go. Right, we are going to run on restoring the peace. Uh, let's conquer every region. I don't think I want to do that. Survive all the attacks and reach large town. Grow your city and raise forces as quickly as you can. The lands are pestered by raiders and undefended settlements will quickly perish. Let's do that, but I'm going to put it on relaxing difficulty. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, these are presets that are different to the difficulty, the template difficulty? Surely not. Because that's conquest. Claim all regions to win. Okay. Starting supplies are doubled. So I guess conquest is actually easier than getting to a large town. Which is bizarre. There'll be a couple of raider free years. No initial bandit camps. All right, well, fine, we'll do this. Um, that sounds fine. Uh, relaxing um, on the edge. Although I'm not sure this even... These feel like they're doing the same thing. These both feel like they are difficulty settings. I don't quite get it, but we're just going to jump in and we'll see what's what, okay? Okay, a new message. You were born for great things, and if God wills it, great things you will achieve. Build up your influence and press claims to all the territories of the map. Once claimed, victory will be yours. Okay. Man lords, families need food and fuel and a roof above their heads. They sure do. And we also have uh, a bunch of supplies here. So this is a month, the months of supplies that we have. Uh, so this, I guess, is just an abstract... Yeah, this is just like an abstract kind of representation of um, like a, a breakdown of your food and fuel so you can see we have a bunch of food but this is the amount of food divided by the amount of families that you have right and then you know over time so that's kind of cool i like that i like that a lot uh, we also have um, five unassigned families if they are unassigned they will do construction otherwise they'll do whatever they're assigned to because you know that's what assigned means so here we have clay deposit we have a stone deposit we have an iron deposit we have wild animals a berry deposit not a very big one though but uh, the wild animals seems to be a healthy ish i suppose 
Uh, and that's everything we have in this area. So we don't have a lot of food running around, sadly. But there is, I mean, there's a lot of resources here. Getting a bunch of clay and stone. I mean, stone, hopefully good for houses. Uh, clay you can use to make tiles, which I think you can have, like, tiled roofs when you have, like, a nicer, you know, a nicer city. Uh, but for now, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Got roads. Yeah, roads you can build. I know that. Thank you. So, hand carts move quicker on roads. I think they're free to build, uh, I'm pretty sure. So, we can just go ahead and maybe connect. Yes, yeah, we connect to the main road. Sound, sounds like a good shout. So, let's do this. And, uh, yeah, let's just put it around our supplies and things. So, these are where our supplies are for now. We are going to need to build proper storage for those. I don't know if we can really afford to, like, leave it a long time or we need to get it there really quickly it's yeah i'm not sure uh but what i do want to do build residential no actually first i'm going to go gathering we're going to go with a logging camp so we can get, be getting timber so that we have timber basically oh i've got animal habitat will cause migration oh if you work too near the animals they'll run away that's fun that's quite clever uh I mean, this is so dense, but obviously you don't want to ruin the habitat, because that's a resource that I need. Uh, I don't know how much of that I can ruin. All right, one thing I do want to check first, actually. So, plenty of underground water that we can tap into using our wells. So, as long as there's a well nearby houses, the houses are fine. It's not like it has a specific amount of water that it can produce or anything like that. It's just you near a well, the well will be enough. Uh, so, we have Emma Fertility, which is a sort of wheat. Flax barley and rye so emma not great but rye looks like we've got some very fertile rye fields potentially but it also just kind of looks like in this area we're going to be relying on um, mineral deposits this looks like a nice place to take over next though so yeah you can see this is the map that we need to take over these are all the different regions we can claim them once we get enough influence which, uh, well, we don't have any, so, you know, that's fine. Hang on, is that where we start? No, this is where we're starting. I think. Nope. Oh, we are starting in, uh, Zwai? We can change the name of this. Uh, so yeah, this is the tech tree as well. So what are we going to call this? Uh, Janethoff. Janethoff. Janhoff? Janhoff. There we go. It's called Janhoff now. Or, you know what, actually? I prefer Yandor. Okay, welcome to the town of Yandor. Good. Alright, we've nailed it, guys. We have finished our quest to name the town. We did it. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to connect that as well. So this is our hitching post. So this is where we have our ox. If anything, you know, if anyone needs the ox to move things, they'll come here. Uh, logs need an ox. Alright, so now that we've checked, I know that I can put stuff here and we don't have to worry too much about um, fertility. So if you hold left click, you can like rotate places around. I don't think it matters too much. Either way. So let's go ahead and connect that. Uh, unassigned families will work on construction automatically, so let's get them doing it. Uh, I'll probably try and keep the speed up a fair bit, because, um, well, stuff doesn't move too, too quickly. But, I mean, you can see the game is gorgeous. And just look at everyone working. How great is this? Very great is how great. It's just gorgeous. Look at everything going up. Very nice. I'll go deaf from all that hammering. Just said he's deaf from all that hammering. All right, well, are you are you guys done? Did you decide you were done? You're waiting for the rest of the materials. All right, there we go. There we go. So now that this is almost built, come on, hurry up. Yeah, let's just finish this one last one. All right, now we want to assign someone there, and they'll start chopping the nearby trees, so we'll have more logs. Uh, I'm going to slow things down a little bit because now I want to set up some residential areas. So we're going to build some housing. Which I guess I can just build along here. 
so I will. Okay. Oh, that's kind of sweet. Uh, I kind of like having the additional space. I do quite like that, too. Alright, so we're going to build here. So if you see, right, these little icons are the houses. So we're going to have three houses. But then these little extra bits are extensions. So you can have an additional family house on every plot. And then these back areas are, like, artisanal spaces. Um, but also, like, veg patches. So it's just like an extension that will give you additional resources. Because, funnily enough, people, if they wanted to grow things, they tend to just grow them, like, by their house. Because why would they do it miles away, right? Just people had veg patches and things. It's just very easy. Just use your, uh, you know, land around your house to do things in. Just it makes sense, doesn't it? So, uh, some buildings have flexible borders. Yeah, that's that's what we're talking about here. And yeah, let's build. And yeah, I love the flexibility of the building system. It is really good. So while human workforce has to be assigned by default, livestock workforce is shared between workplaces. However, you can assign uh, your uh, ox to like specific areas. I think if we... Can you click on him, can't you? Apparently not. Okay, well, I don't know how I did it before. Oh, is it here? There we go, livestock. Now I click on it. There we go. So we're following our ox around as he's pulling that log for us. Which is very fun. Although maybe you can't... Where is it? There you go, livestock. At the logging camp. And you can assign livestock. That's in the... That's the ones that are assigned. Assign, okay, and then advances where you actually do it. Okay, cool. Anyway, you can assign livestock. I <laughs> know, it wasn't very clear, okay? But I'm still finding my way around. Still finding my way around. But yeah, we only have the one ox so far. We have to buy more oxes or, like, breed them or whatever. You don't just sort of pull them out of the ground or something. Oh, a corpse pit. Lovely. Uh, a tavern we're going to need ale for. That's going to take some doing. Uh, a marketplace would be useful. So actually, I'm going to go ahead and build a marketplace now. Just so we have it when we need it. Let's build it there. So this is nothing yet. <laughs> Supply and demand. Hello there. Well supplied marketplace of the lifeblood of your town. Assigned families will set up stools automatically as long as there's enough space in the market. Hover over specific categories, check your current supply and demand. Burgage plots closest to the market, yet their market requirement fulfilled first. So this is basically going to be where we're going to build uh, everything around. So that'll be useful. Why is this doing like a selection thing? Okay, we're good. Um, so I'm going to go with roads now. I'm going to surround this. There we go. So I can build more houses on the other side if I want to. But um, So there's going to be nothing for now. But as soon as people actually have things to sell, which will happen when we start making veg patches and things in people's back gardens, they'll come here to sell things, which I think is rather nice. Um, so also, we're going to want to build a well, which uh, I'm trying to find somewhere I can fit it. But yeah, as long as you're close to the well, you're fine. Alright, so let's build that there. Now, let's have a look. Logistics, we are going to need a granary and a storehouse at some point, but I don't think it's too, too important. We will need to get farms, so there's fields, which is obviously where you grow things, but then there's a farmhouse, which is where you, basically, you man the farmhouse, and then they go out to work um, in the, um, you know, in the fields. Uh, pasture is going to help us get livestock. We have to buy the livestock to breed them, though, but that might be worthwhile getting some of them nice and early. Get a sheep farm. A windmill is going to help turn grain into flour. Communal oven, flour to bread. But obviously you have to grow the, you know, the uh, the crops first. You have to grow the wheat. And I think, I think you need to get like a thresher or something to turn the wheat into grain, which I think is somewhere else. I think that's in industry. Um, that's barley into malt. Hides into leather. Wool into yarn. Berries into dyes. Hmm. Anyway, I'm pretty sure you need to get a thresher as well. But uh, we'll get to that, I'm sure. Oh, is it in gathering? Maybe not. Charcoal kiln over there? 
an apiary for beekeeping. That's kind of fun. Um, so we are going to want to get a hunting camp in this area. Saving has finished. Um, so I guess I don't want it to overlap, huh? I just want to put it nearby and they'll go to this area, I suppose. So, sure. Let's put that there. And let's build some more roads. There we go. Lovely stuff. So yeah, things are looking rather, rather cute, huh? Look at all these. I love seeing these houses go up. And the ox running around. His name's Herman, apparently. This is lovely. This really makes me want to build some houses. You know, for miniatures. Not like, you know, not actually build a house. I wouldn't trust any house I build. Okay, here we go. So, uh, now we have some plots here. Yep, that's fine, mate. Uh, can't upgrade it. Uh, so this one does have a little bit of space for something else. Do you want a goat shed, chicken coops, or vegetable gardens? So we can get hides from the goat shed. I think getting some eggs would be a good idea. This area's got loads more space, so I'll build a um, veg patch there. I'm going to put goats in the middle one. See how great is that? That's just a little outhouse. You're going to have to build the chicken coop, because I, I feel like there should be... It says there are eggs coming in. And I guess just a weird angle that this is the chicken coop. I suppose. There's not much space there. I don't know. Anyway, it's fine. Um, oh no, it does need to be built. Look, no, it's still building. Look, we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. We're working it out. But yeah, I have played a little bit of this. But not too far. Not too, too far. See, the forester's hut is to be useful. Because that's going to basically replant all the trees that this thing is cutting down. Uh, a saw pit is going to turn timber into planks. That's going to be really useful too. We're also going to need firewood. Uh, family members join one of the settlers. What's your head there? We still have five families. I don't know. Something happened, apparently. So we can expand living space for an extra couple of logs. Doubles the maximum family count for this burger spot. Let's do that. And wait for this one to build as well. Yeah, how cute are these? Absolutely gorgeous. I love hearing him gossiping and things. It's great. It's good stuff. Okay, building away. Yeah, let's speed things up a bit. So they can get this built quicker. Even though it is, it is pretty relaxing just to watch them go about their day. Alright, so I want you to have a nice big vegetable garden. And, yeah, I guess I'll expand living space for you as well. Because this is going to house all five families that we have at the moment. Yeah, they got a little veg patch. How cute is this? I mean, sure, it's dirt now, but, like, at some point, get some nice carrots or something be lovely. And here's the chicken coop. This is more like it. So there's the outhouse. And yeah, here's the little chickens. Very sweet. And oh, there's that your little home. I mean, I'd hate to be the one in this little house when there's this house. Although, you know, cheaper to heat. So, <laughs> just like it's a professional couple. You know, there's a big family in this one. That's right, I'm the, I'm the local estate agent, apparently. Or realtor, as they say in, in the US, I believe. Um, so you need, to get pop uh, you need to get more population. You need to, sorry, to get more population, you need to have enough empty burgage plots. Uh, so right now, people are a bit sad because of homelessness, but we're working on that. We're working on that. So I think 50 is like the default approval. Uh, and anything that makes people happy is, you know, added to that. Anything that makes people unhappy is taken from that. But yeah, I think 50 is just sort of like, everything is normal. Which makes sense, because that's, you know, right down the middle, isn't it? If it's a rating out of 100, which I assume it is. Maybe it's not, though. Maybe it's not. It can go above 100. Maybe it can. 
Okay, so. Nearly there. Uh, how are we doing for resources? We still have 10 timber. That's quite a lot. I'm going to build a saw pit. I'm going to build a saw pit, because I, I want some... Um, now build it over here. Because yeah, I want some timber, because if we go to construction and then administration... Now this is an important thing, to get to the next level of village, we need a manor. Because this is called manor lords, if you don't have your manor, then how exactly are you going to lord? It makes no sense, so we need 20 uh, timber for that. Once that's built, we can build it, and give us a bunch of influence and things, and it's just, yeah, it's good stuff. I haven't built one yet. I can't wait to. I can have my manor. God, just look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? I've got to say, this is probably one of the best looking, um, like, town building games out there. There's a lot of them gone with more, like, cartoony art styles, which I think are really nice. They look really good. But just this, just like, I don't know, just evokes the historical really well, you know? It's very immersive. Very immersive indeed. You know, quite a grounded game. Very grounded art style. It's good. I like it. So, we'll build that eventually. Uh, so we do need to get a granary. Um, which I guess having that nearby the market would be a good idea, actually. I'll you know, build it there. I'll uh, build a storehouse on the other side. So this is where a little homeless shelter was before. So I kind of need to get rid of these roads, I think. That's a raised shrubbery. How can I... Oh, if I hold Alt. Yeah, remove. Oh, it removes the whole chunk. Interesting. Oh, well, let's not build that again, then. Let's put down the... Uh, let's put down the storehouse. This footprint. And then we can build around it. So that works for me. Okay. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna go there. There we go. Well, maybe put another road between it would be better, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna be doing this a lot, guys. I'm gonna be doing this a lot. So let's just build around here. All right, a little wonky, and who cares? It's fine. Let's build that there. Then we'll get the storehouse. Done. All right, let's build that there. And then... All right, something like that. That's not terrible. That's not terrible. It'll do. All right. Uh, so I do want someone assigned here. Hunting limit. When population of a herd drops to this number, workers will stop hunting. Okay, so yeah, have it on half. That should hopefully sustain it quite well. So we're going to do that. Man, it's like something like The Witcher, isn't it? You know, all from the past. Oh, check this out. I know it's called a saw pit, but they're actually making a pit. Huh. I'm looking forward to seeing this building. I, I want to see the mechanism at work here. See how this works. That's very cool. Very interesting. Alright, come on, Herman. Yeah, you swing that around. God, it's just so charming. Real labour of love, this game. You can tell. A lot of nice touches. It's a single developer, by the way. Um, I don't know if that means like a single full-time dev and then the odd contractor for the odd extra bit, but like, yeah, it's just one guy who's been working on this for, I think, I want to say seven years? A while. A while. But like, I mean, look at it. It's gorgeous. He should be very proud of himself. Now let's have a look. Uh, what else do we need? But I guess we do need more housing plots. So I am going to get those set up. Because we do need to make sure that we can be doing that. Oh, you know what? Let's do it across here first. 
So you can see the, where the front is by that arrow. So it's the first two points you, you place. Sort of become a measure of that. God, I love how it follows the roads as well. Like, look at this. How cool is that? Like, it makes these really interesting shapes. I do quite like that. But I would prefer if it's a little bit further out. Uh, not enough goods. But there it is. Yeah, it's going to cost us ten, apparently. I mean, I can build that quite happily. I think... That is actually better, anyway. That seems interest more interesting to me. The slightly diagonal, you know, housing. Not all just like... I don't want it to be a big grid, you know? And yeah, when I start putting up the little stools in the middle, it's going to be really charming, I think. It's going to be really charming. So how are we doing for planks? Well, this hasn't been built yet, so probably not great. Um, so yeah, I'm still seeing a pit. I'm not seeing why the pit is necessary. Still not, not seeing why. But apparently the pit is a very important component of the saw pit. Otherwise just be called a saw, I suppose. Presumably. You know, I feel like I would put the other beam across here before I put these bits across the top. You know? Now, I'd definitely put something before putting this one in. <laughs> That's quite impressive. <laughs> I do hope you have enough wood to finish this building. It'd be most embarrassing to run out halfway through. I know, right? Totally. This guy, this guy looks like a jester. Come along, lad. <laughs> All right, there we go. Uh, that's done, apparently. Well, let's get someone working on it. Okay, so what is that plus four? I don't know what that plus four is. I don't know what it's trying to signify. Do you mean we have five more spaces than we have people? Because that doesn't seem correct. Pretty not sure. Um, but people are homeless now, so they're pretty happy. The uh, goods are still exposed, so we do need these two things up to protect all of that. But man, I just I just can't get over how cute this is. I'd love to live in a place like this. You know, with broadband and double glazing. But like, you know, in a place like this. <laughs> it's pretty cute. Okay, what is next? A new family started moving in? We have six families. Oh, guys, we have six families. And look, we have a little food stool. How cute is that? Very, very cute is how cute. So how are we doing for food here, anyway? Apparently we are getting some food in. We killed an animal. Nice. Well done. Uh, we're only killing the bad ones, just so you know. That, that, um, it was a fox that diddled a heron or something okay so what we're going to want to get is something <laughs> maybe a forager's hut because there is some stuff to forage but we're trying to make a mine now start getting some clay I suppose we should wait for this stuff to finish building first let's just speed things up let our families build things so how many families can be in either of these houses anyway? Because I feel like it was one per house, and then we built an extra two sort of extensions, so that's five. But we have six families, they all seem to be. Like, we don't have any homeless, which is kind of weird. So, like, I don't know how many... Okay, people. Residing families, two. Residing families, three of two. How's that work? We have three out of two families living there, apparently. Yeah, don't quite understand what's going on there. This one, only one person could be there. So this randomly has an extra space. I'm not really sure why. Shall I get some goats? 
Maybe. So you get like armorers workshops and all sorts here as well, which is very cute. And an apple orchard. That's cute too. That is very cute. Let's have to get more chickens. I think we get more chickens, you know. Let's get more chickens. Who's using the organ? I need to drill holes for the tank. God. Just, it's just so cute. I don't know what else to say about it, guys. Like, it's just, it's adorable. So at some point, um, we will need to fight. Right, we'll need to get an army. I'll have to figure that out when we get to it. We've got a couple of years, and it's still spring of the first year, so, like, we've got a while. Like, I may as well speed things up a bit while things are building. With games like this, I always panic about going too fast. Because, it, like, invariably something terrible will happen, and I will regret everything. Um, so, you know. So let's build this mining pit here, I suppose. And we have a message. Uh, armament delivery. Speaking of militias, a strong militia is paramount to the survival of any settlement. Luckily, a shipment of weapons has just arrived, and you'll be able to create your first militia banners to serve you and protect your people. Okay. This guy doesn't realise he's going to uh, die for my glory. Though he is getting larger. So he is he is getting to militia size. Which is really good of him. Knowing he's going to fight to make himself really big. So he can frighten our enemies away. Really is good of him. However, we will need more weapons to equip all the people as the settlement grows. Either by making them or importing them from other lands. Let's form the militia. That's a new objective, apparently. Uh, but it also means... I think we've leveled up. We have a development point. So that's cute. So basic armor smithing, charcoal burning. There's no confirm button. There's no confirm button. I just did it. But I do like the sound of this. This is what I picked in my first like look through the game. I think it's a very good one because it's going to help us get it through our first winter. Because charcoal is twice as efficient as firewood. So if we can get charcoal going... You know, and collecting firewood. It means we'll just have so much. And we can stockpile it forever. Like, I doubt it goes off. But um, that'll keep us warm. You know, much more efficiently, hopefully. Uh, but there's also things like orchardry, uh, sheep breeding, heavy plow, which helps our oxen at the farmhouse. That's important. Uh, foreign suppliers. This is an interesting one, actually. This sounds really cool to me. So it gives you a couple new buildings, a firewood cart and a food cart. So long as you have regional wealth, they allow you to get firewood and bread. Which I think is kind of interesting. But I don't know how that affects it. I don't know if our regional wealth will just, like, start ticking down because we have these. If it's just, like, a, like an upkeep cost. Or or if it's just, you know, enough regional wealth implies that your people have some wealth to spend. And so they can. Like, I, I don't know. Um, are we going to make just a giant road all the way to here? Yes, is the answer. Just a big old road. I mean, we can, you know, have other roads going off of this one. You know, build some rows of houses. Some other roads coming off, rows of houses along there. You know, do you need a field at some point? Do you want to get some fields? Uh, where am I? Just six residential farming. And we basically filled all of the, um, half-decent, like, wheat space. But I think we can do a nice field here. So the recommendation is you do one emma, which is um, two acres, two British. Oh, sorry, one Morgan, rather, not emma. Oh my god, seriously? I thought I had to redraw this a hundred times. That is so fluky. I was like, yeah, about two acres, two English acres. There we go. Farming. Farmhouse empo uh, employs families who work the fields. The workforce is distributed proportionally in accordance with the field set priority level. When crops are growing, they absorb certain nutrients from the soil, temporarily lowering its fertility and thus diminishing yields over time. To combat this, consider changing crop types or, even better, leaving the field fallow for a year. So, now that we have this here, uh, I'm going to leave some space between the houses and the field. And we need to build a farmhouse. So I'll build that here. And that's where we'll man to have people work the field. Oh, also we need to click on the field and tell it what to do. Uh, so what is quite nice, um, some games, uh, certainly older games, 
when you would assign an area to be a field, people would have to go and build the field. <laughs> they don't. Instead, it's just like, yeah, it's just a space, and they'll plant crops in it. And that's, you know, the field filling up. Uh, being built, essentially. So, you know, I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, but yeah, we should be able to build additional fields around it. But yeah, fertility is going to be a bit of a problem. Bit of a problem. We'll have that doing wheat. So, you know, 42% is a bit rubbish, but it's the best we got. The best we got. Uh, also, you can do crop rotation. So second year, we'll do more wheat, and then we'll let it fallow on the third year. Uh, that way, if we eventually have three fields, we can always have two of them in operation, and one resting. And that sounds good to me. That sounds pretty good. That's if we have three fields, which, you know, I guess we only need to build one field every year to have that. Although I guess we'd want to build another one, like, soon. For the sake of, um, having two on the go. But then we probably don't have that many people right now, so I guess we don't need two, really, do we? How are we doing for food, anyway? We have seven months of supplies. So seven months of food, nine of fuel. I like that the supplies is always the minimum amount, you know? Because it means that if you have a billion months for one thing, but only three months of another, then it's just going to say three, and you know that in three months you're going to be either starving or freezing. So I think that's good that it, that it just defaults to the lowest value. That's a really nice, quick way to communicate, you know, do you need to fix something or not? It's good. I need to drill holes for the planks. Got to drill holes for the planks. Got to. Got to. Alright, do another vegetable garden back here. Let's do a couple of vegetable gardens. So maybe I shouldn't be, because that is using our regional wealth, which now is only on five. So, you know, there is that. But uh, I think these are useful. You know, I think it's nice to get some veg. Some veg growing. God, so cute to have a little food stall. Hey man, how's it going? I see you're selling just meat bits. And bread. Where did you get bread? We don't have bread. Wait, don't run. <laughs> I love this like, hang on a minute, where did you get this bread? Oh, I have to go. He just runs up. Definitely not suspicious. He definitely didn't steal the bread. No, that would be ridiculous. Oh, also, um, I can put the priority down for construction, because I kind of want to get this up and running first. Because you want to be growing soon, right? Uh, so in the summer, grow crops. So that's, that's what we want to be doing. We want this to be growing in the summer. So, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Let's speed things up. Are we going really slow again? So we've got loads of timber. No planks yet. No planks. Hang on. Oh, that's really nice. Let's have um, ten planks in... Uh, ten uh, logs in reserve. Which is currently what we have, so like maybe that's a terrible idea. But um, I guess I could assign someone else to the logging camp. But yeah, I like that. That's that's cool. I like you can set a reserve. Okay. Have loads of housing. Loads of housing. People are getting pretty happy. Market food variety. Yeah, the mystery bread. Amazing. Yeah, I really enjoy these uh, jaunty angles for our housing. It's very charming. Nice big space here, too. That'd be a good place for goats, I reckon. You know, just on the outskirts so they can, like, nibble the brush. You know, around the place. You know what goats are like. So, one thing, though, with this game. I wish there was a little bit more, um... <gasps> wild animals have migrated. Okay, they haven't gone too far. They haven't gone too far. That's an interesting system, isn't it? I really like that. Um, okay, so yeah, one thing. I wish it would, the contrast was a little higher. I wish it was a little brighter. You know? Um, obviously, it's you know, very overcast right now. But yeah, I'd, I'd like to still be able to see things nicely. We just got another family move in. And there's slightly less food variety now. We have seven families, guys. Seven families. We are nailing this. We are nailing it. Alright, let's go four times speed. So what else do we want? We want a... 
Uh, so we've got the saw pit. We're going to want a woodcutter's lodge as well, which I guess I'll put over here. Um, start clearing some space, you know, maybe for more farmland. You know, maybe that's the plan. Maybe that's what we're doing. Okay, good. Now we've still got lots to build. Like the farmhouse. And we still have four unassigned people. Which is surprising. Also, he's doing the market. Interesting. So that's what he's doing. He's going out hunting and then going to the market to sell it to people. That's really cute. So this has someone assigned. This has two people. Oh, it's four assigned. Yeah, three unassigned. Okay. Silly me. I was looking at the wrong one. I was like, I'm sure we designed four people, not three. Um, and yeah, we'll have someone at the farm, and we'll have two more for construction. So maybe build that and have one person start doing clay mining. So the reason I'm doing clay mining, we're going to industry. Is it this one? Yeah, clay furnace, clay into clay tiles which is something I want to do. And we'll see if we can sell those. If we go to trade, build ourselves a trading post. So I think you can just set up what can be traded. And I think just set up clay to be that thing, um, I think is how that works. Although I guess I could just set this up. It would not fit here. I guess it can't quite, interesting. But um, here's not a terrible place for it near the market. Oh, let's get that queued up. I have so much timber right now. And... No planks still. Like, are they going to do anything? Alright, they're a carpenter, apparently. Is it because I don't have any livestock bringing logs to it? They're all taking it to construction projects. So they just have nothing to to deal with there. Uh, also, I think if you assign a family here, they start selling stuff. I think. Upgrade to a large granary. Alright, so here's the supplies. Yeah, transporting bread. Okay, so we started with bread as part of... Yeah, we have bread, firewood, stone and tools as, like, part of our initial storage. Almost some extra timber... I think we have a lot more in here now, right? We have large shields and spears. That's right. I need to set up my militia. So, this guy. You created your first militia unit. The male villagers will be evenly distributed between all militia units. They will then try to find the required equipment. The weapon and shield depends on the unit type, while the maximum quality of body armor and helmet depends on the village's residential level. After bringing all the necessary equipment home, the unit recruits are marked as ready to rally. Only then you will be able to rally your unit. So basically, um, a bunch of them are going to grab uh, stuff. And uh, there you go. That's that's it, really. We just wait for them to do that. They'll take them home. I think they still work their jobs um, until you, you know, have them muster. Until you rally them, have them uh, go fight stuff. Until then, I'm pretty sure they just carry on as usual. If they get killed, though, you're going to have fewer workers. That's something you've got to be really careful of in this game. Not killing off all of your able-bodied people. Because then, um, yeah, then you have no one working the mines or, the, you know, chopping down trees. I feel like this is quite a lot. Um, we have a lot of timber. I mean, it's still spring. And they've cleared out, like, half a forest. It's kind of impressive how quickly they've done that. Uh, so, gathering... Uh, forester's hut. Plant new trees. That's what we need. Let's add one here. <laughs> We're going to go right around, apparently. There's how little space I'd left around here. Not much is the answer to that. That's okay. This feels like its own little little part of the village. Okay, so that is still getting built. I think we are going to need to get another hitching post, you know. I think we are going to need another one. 
So I'm going to go to logistics. There he is. So we're going to hitching post. Um, I mean, by the trading post and the granary does seem good. Doesn't it? And we're probably going to need one over here for the mine. To help, like, ferry play back and forth. I could even make the uh, clay industry over here and build a couple houses for the workers these two spots. I don't know if it will actually sort them. Uh, that's a granary, my bad. I don't know if it will sort them. Um, properly, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know if the people nearby will do that job. Or if we have to sort of figure that out. So, clay furnace. Uh, I mean, I will need firewood and things as well. So, yeah, it's a little, little tricky. Uh, let's now go to residential. Build another well over here, because I have no idea how many of these we need. But more can't hurt, right? Can't hurt. Okay, that's wrong. I, I keep putting the front in the wrong spot. I just want it along this main road, I think. What do we, actually? Tell you what. Let's build a little sticky-outy bit. Do we make this the front? Just to add a bit of variety to it, you know? So, something like that. How big can that go? I mean, bloody massive, actually. Like, absolutely huge. The space in the back, potentially. Do we need it to be that big? Probably not, right? It just feels like he's not to. Because I mean, it doesn't really... It's still two per plot, no matter how big you make it. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't want, like, a sensible size. It's hard to tell. But no, there's more housing over here for the mine, and the, you know, our clay industry will be over here. And, uh, yeah, we have a hitching post. We will need to buy the oxen for it. We have a lot of stuff to build over here. And that one poor ox over in this area. It'll take forever to move him. All right, so we've, got, we've got less timber now, because I've assigned a lot of it to other things. But the fact that we still don't have a single plank is sort of ridiculous. I guess I'll turn him off that. I'll take him off. There's no point having anyone here. Because they're just not doing anything. So let's get more people building. Though it could literally just be that our, um, our poor ox is just so overwhelmed. I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't have built so many upgrades. Um, for, like, Outback Gardens, and I should have focused more on, um... God, yeah, because I built these as well. If I get rid of that, I don't think I gain money back. So how do I get wealth? So, uh, amount of money owned by villagers from this region can be used to import or convert it to treasury via a tax policy. Okay, so sort of them spending their own money to buy themselves the ingredients or goods or whatever they need to create their little industry in the back. So that's just representative of their money, broadly. So, fair enough. Okay. I mean, we'll figure something out. But, we've got a lot of... Okay, so this is interesting. So as previous, as well as the recent 30 days, so they stack by the sounds of it. So people have a bit of a memory. It seems that things were bad last month, and they're not immediately happy this month, just because things are good this month. You know, they still have that, like, feeling of dread left over from the previous one, I guess. So that's quite cool. That's an interesting system. That's an interesting system. Okay, things are being built. I'm pretty happy with how things are going. Um, our town is cute as hell. You know, Yandorf is just fantastic. And uh, I'm very happy with it, and I hope you guys are too. If you are, and you want to see more of this, then comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, we'll do a few episodes of this, because I'm, I'm intrigued to see where this little hamlet's gonna, gonna lead. I think it's very cute. And it's kind of chill, you know, it's kind of nice to have a quite a quiet 
um, you know, more of a relaxing series on the go. You know, it's always it's always war. You know, it's always war and aliens and explosions and things. You know, but this is like, yeah, it's chill. I like it. Um, so if you agree, let me know. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. <laughs>